Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to your, that's right, your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of April 29th, 2021. I'm one of your hosts. We're almost there. Almost there. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally across from me. Alex, how are you? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Now, Alex. I mean, I didn't ask. You did. You did. Hey, my man. But you hey, kind of did. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. I was going to. But I then you said thank you for asking. I was like, oh snap! I forgot to ask. I thought you. I thought you asked. I don't know why. I could have swore you said, "Good, how are you?" Is that? I'm pretty sure that's what you said. I said no. I. Uh, I feel like I just said I'm good. I'm good. I don't know. We'll watch it later. Anyways, we'll forget it. We'll forget about it, and then we'll watch it, and then we'll be like, uh, we'll just whatever. cut all this off. Yeah, we'll just, all this. All right, Alex and. Start right here. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you for adding that out, Alex. Okay. Now, Alex, every week we do this. We we get together. We talk about the news that's coming out for the week. Now, a little bit of slower news week. But mm-hmm. what's nice is we get financial numbers. Now, financial numbers may not be necessarily exciting, sexy, mm-hmm. some saying. You know, not necessarily. Sexy. But you get to learn a lot and I'm, and I'm excited to talk to you through these. Now, before we get into any of that, I want to first remind you of a couple mm. of things. Now, <clears throat> we're a baby podcast, so you need us you need to help a baby grow. <laughs> How do you help a baby grow? <laughs> I don't know. You like it. Uh, I don't know. You feed you, it. You feed it. And the way you feed us <laughs> you feed us. I don't have any food. Hold on. You feed us. Hold on. I don't know free product crates. I ate all my popcorn free, before we started. You feed us Little granules of likes, comments, subscriptions, five star reviews, just like this. Nom 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 nom, just like this. Okay, now go over there right now. You're listening on something YouTube, podcast service of your choice, of course. You scroll down, you see a subscription part. So first, smack that. All right, you smack that. You smacked it. Okay, now you hit Goldfish. Com- comment and answer this question: How many things are on Alex's bookshelf that you can see? Hmm. The first person to get yeah. it right gets a cookie. All right. Mm. Second, now, second, financially, if you have the extra money, it's a pandemic, we understand. You go over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. You give us a couple bucks. One dollar gets you access to our Patreon, and you can post, you can comment with other patrons. You can actually Patreon DM us a question, <clears throat> comment, concern, thought, and or idea, and you'll be read aloud on the show. That's all the mumbo jumbo I got. So I want to get into the actual video that you clicked on. Now, before I actually get into some news, I want to first ask Alex one question. Alex, Mm -hmm. what have Mm -hmm. you been playing? Hmm. So surprisingly, I did go back to Destiny with you for a little bit. Yes, you did. That was this week. Just, wow. Just oh my god. Just just for a little bit. Just for a little bit. You played yeah. you played Guardian Games. That's an event going on right now. It's essentially <laughs> there's three classes in the game and you guys kind of like fight it out to see who's going to win. It's kind of like mm-hmm. the Olympics, but like not nearly as involved or competitive. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you just kind of play stuff and that's it. Uh but we played some other stuff, Alex. Uh I played more Apex, of course. You did, of course. Like yes. always. We went back mm-hmm. to Call of Duty. Yes, we did. Which is surprising. I didn't think I'd ever go back. Not yeah, ever. I didn't, I didn't think I'd go back to Cold War. Because I was very lukewarm, if you all remember that, on the other Achievers podcast. I was very lukewarm on Cold War. I was just like, it's not bad, of course, but it's, it's definitely not my favorite. It just hasn't gotten you. It hasn't gotten your attention. But. This, you feeling it, man. This was, I'm feeling it. I'm enjoying mm-hmm. myself quite mm-hmm. a bit. Now, I'm not playing Warzone, uh, frankly, because I'm not good enough yet. <laughs> That's why I go. That's why I play Plunder because I I get to come back. Is that what that is? Yeah. So Plunder, you uh, you you pretty much got to whoever gets to a million first, mm. and whoever gets to a million first, and I guess within the time, within the time being, and then if you kill, let's say a whole set of people and whatever their money is, they drop a certain, I think half of what they have, and then you can pick that up, and then you go up in rank, um, and you just keep coming back, and um, you can use your class that you have and stuff like that. So it's fun. And it actually levels you up quite a bit because I was playing mm. earlier and I went up maybe a whole rank bar in just one match. Interesting. Maybe yeah, we play. What, maybe we should play yeah. this tonight. Yeah. yeah. Or 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 
if you remember what I said, it's April 29th means we are pre returno now. If you really wanted to know a lot about Return, you could have. There's plenty of sources. You go IGN, GameSpot, your favorite mm. YouTubers probably have it. Us, we're a bunch of normies, so we're gonna play it just like you all are mm-hmm. tonight mm-hmm. at midnight. Mm-hmm. He's got it right there. Hold on, right here. he's got it. It's on the side. There, you go. right there. Yeah. And look, look, look. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the little ticker right there. I'm waiting for it. Oh, that's right. There's a timer there, and it just mm-hmm. ticks down. Now, while Alex stares and waits for that to happen. I will also be staring and waiting to happen. And I also want you to stare and wait for something to happen. I want you to go to our YouTube page when this goes live. If this is Friday, wait one more day. If it's Saturday, I want you to find our impressions, get a feel for what we think. Mm -hmm. We kind of want to just give you a little first impressions. It will be very brief, but we want you to listen, just get a little insight, and then expect a full-on review. Spoiler cast. Hopefully next week, hopefully. Yes. Probably even before I that. I don't know we'll how beefy this game is. So I, I don't know how I, long it is. I don't know. Uh, I did not. I intentionally avoided coverage um, mm-hmm. for multiple reasons. One, I don't get spoiled. Two, I don't want to feel like I'm talking about other people's coverage. Because mm-hmm. that gets weird when you're like just saying stuff other people said. So that's another reason why I haven't just looked at anything from the game. I'm excited because I don't know very much. I know there's a loop. I know you're trying to get out the loop, assumably. And it looks super cool. I love how everything looks. This very alien feel. I like that. Yes. Lots of tentacles, which if you're into that, <laughs> if you're into that, go ahead. But uh, I'm excited. Same. Alex, I think that's mm-hmm. a, I think that's about it from from what we've been playing. Yeah. I want to get in to I don't I don't love the name of this, but we're going to we're going to keep it right now as is it worth your time? Or we're going to say quick fire for today. Quick fire. Just okay. a couple okay. quick fire things. These are things that we don't want to dive too deep into because mm-hmm. we don't really have much to say. So one thing, Sony did have a state of play today as of recording, April 29th. It was a basically a ratchet and clank state of play with a few little things sprinkled at the end. There was a giant look through at ratchet and clank. I want to say it's 20 to 30 minutes long of just straight up. Just here's clank. Here's ratchet. They're doing their rain, <clears throat> ratchet and clank stuff. I personally did not watch it. I don't think Alex wants to watch it either. I <laughs> am, again, personally avoiding it. I, I don't need to be talked into this game. Uh, I do want to bring it up because it is news. If you'd like to watch it, of course, you go over to PlayStations or any of your favorite YouTubers. Get the full coverage of it. If you are on the fence or just want to see more about the game, that is open to you. They did uh, announce two things at the end. One thing was a surprise Among Us, the popular PC game that is <laughs> huge still is coming to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. Uh, Technically, we didn't know it would. We did know it was coming to Xbox One in the series, but now we know for sure it is coming to the PlayStation service at some point. They did not say when, just like the Xbox One. They just announced it's coming at some point. They did show off Ratchet uh, outfits. There's a Ratchet head that gives his little ears, and then they have a little Clank walking around with you, a little robot Clank as their pet. It's kind of cute. Uh, but that's it. And then second, uh, Subnautica Below Zero. So Subnautica is a he- like huge game. It's one of those games where you don't think it's big. And then mm-hmm. you like Google one thing about it. And then you realize like this is a lot of people like this. A lot of little kids like it. It's like Minecraft or something. Yeah, I played it. And it's, it was fun. But like I never like I played it and I like, got my thousand. And then I was like, OK, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's apparently huge. And they were just mm-hmm. going. That was just another thing going through like showing off some of the stuff about it. And again, if you're any interested by any of this, please go watch the state of play. That's everything for kind of the rapid fire for this week. Now we're getting into numbers. All right. So try not to glaze over. We have time codes if you want to skip all this, but we have, um, and Alex, if you do me a favor with the time codes, let's have, let's mm-hmm. have numbers. And let's have our thoughts just in case people don't really care about the numbers and just want to hear our thoughts at the end of this, please. Gotcha. <laughs> Starting off, Sony's earning call happened this week, and we got a small look into PlayStation tactics this gen and some sales data to have some fun. Let's start off with the big numbers, okay? PlayStation revenue near $25 billion as PlayStation 5 ships 7.8 million units in five months. Now, this is noted by NPD to be the most sold units for any system 
in the five month period that PS5 has been out. So important disclaimer, five month period, most sold system. Very impressive, <clears throat> insane. <clears throat> now also to note, shipped is different from purchased, but retailers don't ship things they don't intend to sell. Also, PlayStation 5s sell out immediately when they're put on anything. So you can essentially say 7.8 is how much they've sold. Uh, da, 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 yeah. So that, yeah, and that 7.8 million, just so you know, uh, that includes 4.5 million during its launch quarter. So that first quarter from November on, and then 3.3 million in the three months ending on March 31st. So f- between that 31st and the beginning of the year. <clears throat> PlayStation 4 shipments uh, for the full year dropped from 13.5 million in 2019 fiscal year to 5.7. So that does show you that they are clearly switching to PS5. They are not worried about PS4 anymore. They want you buying PS5s. So they are probably hoping that no one, because the, you can't get them new anymore. So they're kind of just hoping people like stop buying them. Mm-hmm. Sony sold 30, 338.9 million games in the past year across two consoles, up from 276.1 million the previous year. Of these, 58.4 million were first party, up from 49.2 million in financial year 2019. Wild number. <clears throat> Wild number. Alex, keep a mental note. If anything, you want to be picked up at the end of this. Just keep it a mental note for me, and we'll go back to it. Digital downloads of full games accounted for 65%. We'll read that one more time for you. Digital downloads of full games accounted for 65% of all sales for the full year, rising to 79% in the most recent quarter. By comparison, digital accounted for 53% of game sales in the previous fiscal year and 68% in its final quarter. Uh, all these numbers are being grabbed from b- uh, business industry biz. Of course, this is an earnings report, so they're just writing what the earnings people have told. Looking at its network service, there were 47.6 million PlayStation Plus subscribers by the end of Q4 uh, financial year of 2020, up from 41.5 million seen this time <clears> last year. And then overall servicing looks like it's up 24.8 billion. Uh, up to 24.8 billion that is 30 percent more year on year of course that is seen from covid times covid raised gaming incredibly Mm -hmm. software and add-on sales made up a bulk of this of 1.5 trillion yen that's 13.8 billion dollars up 43 percent hardware sales rose 34 percent year on year to uh i'm just gonna go with american sorry um uh, japanese people $7 $7 billion, while network services such as PlayStation Plus rose 14% to $3.5 billion. Operating income, um, which is essentially the, what they need to, to spend uh, to stay uh, active, essentially, it raised uh, up to $31.4 sorry, $31.4 billion. That's up 44% from the year before. Growth for this, this is my favorite part of this entire thing. Growth for, for this was limited to the, quote, strategic price points, end quote, of the PS5 models, which were set, quote, lower than the manufacturing costs, end quote. Now, really quickly, I don't think PlayStation has ever said specifically then how much their system was, how much their system was. But they also are telling you here that I don't think they've ever said this before, that this is for sure selling it lower than what it costs to make. So they have to sell this. At a loss, which makes sense. You have to do that with yeah. new hardware to make people um, buy it. You can't yeah. you can't sell this thing for six hundred dollars or five fifty, whatever you you, you can't. Oh, I'm sure they I'm sure they could have because they would have done it, but not a lot of people would have bought it. They they That's- have to stay because they know Xbox was going to hit five hundred. You mm-hmm. you can't let your competitor be a hundred bucks cheaper than you are. So yeah, if they, they wanted to be they competitive, had, then they would have to stay there. Yeah. yeah. So that tells you for sure what happened. They had to go lower. This, of course, will be better in a few years. Because costs are going to go down, and that'll make your actual payment on your systems cheaper, and that means you'll be making more money. This is, like I said, very common with launch systems because you have to be competitive with whatever your competitor is, and you just can't sell a system. Trust me, you, just as an example, the digital edition is not $100 cheaper just by taking a disk drive out. It's just not. It's not a disk drive. I think costs forty dollars or something. So it's not that that they're eating a lot of that, and that's why you don't see digital editions as much. They want you to buy the physical because they make 
probably way more money off that. Oh yeah, for sure. Comparatively, or or lose the wait list. Thank you for that sip, Alex. Thank you. Quote, and this is a quote straight up from their kind of in-house uh, uh, kind of report. They they were, I think they were asked a question. I'm kind of blanking on where on who asked this, but. Quote, we intend to continue investing and partnering with external studios in addition to aggressively investing in our in-house studios, end quote. Okay, now that's the end of the numbers, okay? We're mm-hmm. going to get into just kind of delving in that. Now, first, Alex, there's mm-hmm. two things I'm, I, I, I really pull out of this. One, they admitted PS5 is more expensive to make than uh, what they're selling it for, which... We all knew that, but it is interesting that they actually had to say that now. Yep. Two, quote, we intend to continue investing and partnering with externals in addition to aggressively investing in our in-house studios. Doesn't say they're looking at acquisition, ac- acquisition, sorry. Acquisition, <clears throat> Thank acquisitions? You. Thank you. They're not looking to buy a studio. It mm. seems maybe they are, no, they, they, but. No, they're like, they want to stay in that little circle. You know, that little, um. Was it Verizon? Was it Verizon or AT and T? The little, the little five family thing on the cell phone. <laughs> I think that's AT and T. Yeah, AT and T. They want, they want to stay. In. They want that yeah. family plan. They need to save the money. So they got that family plan. That little net mm-hmm. of people. Like this guy's paying the bill, and it's all these. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you no. know, yeah, that family. Like fuck, uh, yeah. we, we can list those studios right there. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, so I think I think that was is important to note. Now, of course, they could be doing anything. They don't have to necessarily say they they're going to buy a studio yet, but. They're telling their shareholders expect more partners than probably purchases. Investing in their in-house studios makes sense. They that means God of War. That means Last of Us. That means Uncharted. That means X Y Z. So we're going to be seeing more of that. We're going to be seeing some more partnerships that they've been doing. For instance, with Avengers, they paid for Spider Man exclusivity. Uh, mm-hmm. What's another one that's recent? Uh, they had a, they haven't been doing this recently, so I can't think of another one. I mean, uh, Call of Duty is the huge yeah. one. They, oh, yeah, had, yeah. they had an exclusive they had mode. They had a month exclusives. Year. Or yeah, well, they had yeah, the zombie mode. Mm-hmm. They had No, it was uh, Modern Warfare with... Uh, what was it called? Spec Ops? It was like well, a, no, that too. But, it was like uh, a horde mode. Um, uh, I, think it was, I think it was just Spec Ops, but uh, the Cold War, mm-hmm. uh, Xbox didn't get uh, the onslaught until the year later. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, Xbox didn't get the uh, Xbox didn't get the zombies until a year later. I mean, I I don't think I'm wrong because I remember. Um, Are you sure, it's zombies, and not like a mode in zombies. I th- I think it's maybe the on the onslaught thing that was on PlayStation. Okay, so that's probably a. I think it's like, like a mode. That's probably mode. that's probably a mode in zombies. Probably. Mm-hmm. Very there. I love I love the numbers. I know the achievers know that. I love when they get the numbers. Now mm-hmm. another thing to point out, and this this is insane. Digital downloads of full games accounted for sixty five percent of all sales for the full year. Mm-hmm. That's almost what that that's more than half. That yeah. like it's just crazy that when you think about it, because they know the numbers. Sixty five percent of a game was bought digitally. Like of you know that's very. Uh, productive but as an example mm-hmm. that's insane like if you look I mean, at a sale on a spreadsheet I mean, that's what two-thirds of all their sales mm-hmm. yeah yeah and it's it's just it's just crazy that's just crazy to think about and it's going up which of course co you know all of this all of this is messed up because of covid it's not necessarily a normal year Gaming saw a huge surge with COVID, of course, because you're oh, at yeah, home, sure. you need something to do. People I bought mean, systems, how, people played with their kids, things like that. Mm-hmm. That's but, why PC stuff is so uh, uh, so elevated right now in price. Yep, and that's why it's hard to make the systems in the first place. They're all missing the mm-hmm. chips that they need. Apple is having issues getting their chips that they need. Everyone's having issues with everything. But I th- those, those are great. Alex, anything you want to point out here that I haven't yet uh, that you thought was interesting? No, I, I mean, I just, I, the, the sales are, I mean, crazy. I did not realize how much uh, most of it was digital. I mean, I could see it now, like, duh, but like, it's just, it's crazy to think. And, um, it's crazy to me also to think that like they're, what did they say? They, they, they sold more PS4s uh, they, or so- they sold, they sold PS5s more than PS4s, right? So, yeah. So if you take the five month period that we're in right now. Yeah. Um, well, technically in March, sorry, because this ended March for the physical quarter. 
So if you take March, so from that five month period, mm-hmm. and compare it to any other system that's ever been made, um, that they sold more in that five month period than any system ever. That is nuts because I feel like it's like you, you, you every time you go around, like you said earlier, it's like nobody has any. So like how can't like they must have like on release the difference, day the, they must have had way more. The different oh yeah, release day was um, four point five million uh, mm-hmm. during its launch quarter. So that quarter, yeah. and then three point three million in that three months. Oh, so Jesus. so it was way more, uh, and I believe that 7.8 million units was sold so uh for ps5 Mm -hmm. i think it's i think it was 7.6 million for ps4 so i mean it's nothing crazy it's like not a huge difference but i mean it's i mean they did sell more they sold at least 200,000 more units um nothing to sniff at that's a lot of money Mm -hmm. uh now it is interesting because they're not making money on these systems so so the yeah, more like systems the, they're selling, the more money they're losing. But they are making up a lot of that money when you're buying a video game. They they make the yep. money when you buy a video game. They get and they're making up that money when they don't go to uh, third party studios to be mm-hmm. like, hey, can you make this game? Mm-mm, no, they'll stay in house. That's a good point, Alex. Is a member of these three hundred out of the three hundred thirty eight point nine million games in the past year across the two consoles. Fifty eight point four million were first party, so I mean that means mm-hmm. that was all them making yeah. all the money yep. themselves. So I mean, yep. no cut or anything. So that's impressive. Yep, no middleman. That's impressive. I wonder how much of that is Spider Man. You know, most of that is <laughs> Spider Man, like well, which is crazy. It's come out for PS Five, right? Uh, it's just games, period. So just any, so any like game, PS Four, any, yep. anything. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is a, I'm, the, well, well Spider Man. I mean, I'm assuming God of War because I was huge in 2018. Uh well yeah yeah you're right but I think I'm thinking God of War probably plateaued a little bit because this mm. is fiscal year for 2020 right 2020 gotcha 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 so it, yeah, could, it yeah. I mean I'm sure God of War sold a good bit I mean people are constantly mm. buying games like that but I'm thinking I think the the biggest one probably Spider Man because that just keeps selling for some reason yeah people and I think a lot game. of people were bought Avengers but then <laughs> <laughs> Avengers oh god mm-hmm. all right. That's all of Sony. Alex, you said you were finished, so I'm going to move on to Microsoft. <gasps> a little bit less detailed from the Microsoft thing. I couldn't gather anything. They don't go as deep into their gaming things. Of course, as a reminder, Microsoft. So they have a lot. They have a lot to talk about when they have money. So mm-hmm. it's very much. Um, oh, and important to note before I leave Sony, just really quick to note, um, all of their branches were up uh but but like their gaming is like making like a now, huge chunk of play of sony's money well now you just you said sony are we talking about sony total or, or playstation uh what do you mean like what's the difference the the revenue that's coming in like is it are we just talking because sony oh you no, know, no, no. They, so, have, they have headsets they have sound bar you know uh, tvs but playstation is just specifically their games and their systems yeah yeah well so sony is reporting that their gaming division made this division much money. got it so, got it so got it. yeah yeah all right, let's go. Let's go back to um, to Microsoft. Okay, uh, Microsoft today reported its results for its physical third quarter, showing the company's gaming business jumped fifty percent year over year. For the three months ended March thirty first, Microsoft said its personal computing division saw revenue up nineteen percent to thirteen billion dollars, and credited gaming as the primary dri- uh, driver of that growth. Mm-hmm. So they're saying that. Gaming was the majority growth of All this nineteen percent. Yes, of course. Yeah, PCs. People buying the games through the mm-hmm. store. People buying games through Xbox. Things like that. Xbox hardware was up. Don't get too crazy about this. This so Xbox hardware was up two hundred and thirty two percent year over year for the quarter. With those results attributed to the to Series X and S, of course. Mm-hmm. That's a fancy way of saying. We weren't selling a lot, but like now we're selling like a now lot. Now we are, but yeah. Just, just think about it. If you sold one unit and you sold 232 more units the next day, you would have a 232%. So so they probably weren't selling a lot of Xbox Ones. Yeah. We all know they didn't sell a lot. They're probably selling like what, one a day maybe? And then like Series X came out and I was like, oh, the, they just kept coming out. They're very much, they have been very much being very coy in how much Xbox One sold to mm-hmm. try and hide how much it messed up. And I think I think one day, like uh, sometimes we're able to figure out it's almost two to one. So m- probably Xbox sold half as many PlayStation, which is nuts. They mm-hmm. they, they did not sell a lot of Xbox ones. Uh, Microsoft, excuse me. Microsoft also reported 
total Xbox content and services revenue rose 34% in the quarter. Uh, and this is their quote from that quote driven by strength from third party titles, Xbox game pass subscriptions and first party titles End quote. What first party titles um, beyond the gaming division. Microsoft posted similar growth for the company as a whole. Uh, we won't get that too much into it, but I do just like saying big numbers. Uh, their overall revenue is up 19% to 41.7 billion for the quarter with the net income up 44% to $15.5 billion. That is a number that I don't even comprehend. But it is important to note that uh, they did say Xbox content and services revenue rose 34% in the quarter. Uh, it's nothing to sniff at. That's, that's making a lot of money. You can assume most of that is Game Pass. Most of that is some third-party titles. I don't believe them when they say first-party titles are what drove most of that revenue. I'm thinking Game Pass. I'm thinking um, the Game Pass Ultimate, Gold, all that stuff. You have to think all, all service content is a very broad spectrum. So they're probably there's probably so much tied up in all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is just a fun thing to know. I saw uh, they also, uh, Microsoft also brought to attention Minecraft monthly active users are up 30% year over year to almost Goodness. 140 million That's crazy. Uh, users. The company the is still going has strong. also generated over 350 million in player spending for mods, add-ons, and other downloadable content inside Minecraft. Wow. Just Minecraft by themselves made them $350 million. <laughs> like that is I'm sure they uh they were happy when they got Mojang. Yes, I think that was for a billion dollars if I think, right? Uh Mojang purchase. I'm pretty sure. I mean, and if that's true, they already have a third of that back, and that's not even including when they bought them, because they bought that, they bought them like three or four years ago. I wanna say. Where are you? Oh no. Hmm. I put in Moying purchase. It doesn't come. I got it. Thank you. Uh, the purchase agreement for 2.5 billion was <laughs> announced on, was 15, wrong. on oh. September 15, 2014. The acquisition was finalized on November 6 and Moying became part of a Microsoft studio. So 2.5 billion. And that was at, in 2014. Jesus. I think star Wars sold for a billion dollars, didn't it? Star Wars. Yeah. I thought it was. I think it was four billion. Was it four billion? Okay, that's way more than I thought. Mm-hmm. Jesus, my God! Mm-hmm. All right. I, I mean, again, these are financial reports. These are all very interesting. I love talking about these, Alex. Anything about that Xbox thing that you want to bring up? Um, they're very much again. They're very more coy than PlayStation. PlayStation makes a lot of money, uh, so they're like, look at how much money because Sony needs to, po- to to point to something that makes a lot of money, and that's always PlayStation. They're always pointing to them. Saying like, look, we're doing really good. PlayStation did this. Where our revenues up this much because our gaming division has PlayStation Plus and all that. Mm. But with this, um, they're a little coy. But I feel like we can pull a little bit out of this. Uh, so they saw a slight revenue boost from their se- the selling of the systems. Plus, they saw overall uh, revenue rose by thirty four percent. I think a lot of that's Game Pass. Regardless mm. of Game Pass is profit or not, I don't. I, I don't think it is, but. It doesn't matter. They don't care if it is. I mean, at this point, I mean, they have they have so many studios in that pass. Like, you get so much. And it's like EA Access, Bethesda, that's all on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's getting it's getting to the point where it's... Like, I mean, what's I next? Think, I think it's already to the point where it's kind of ridiculous what you get when you buy the pass. Um, uh, I think when Game Pass came out, it would be weird if someone said, oh, I only buy Game Pass. Now it's like... I wouldn't blame anyone for just buying Game Pass and not buying anything else ever. Just playing stuff on there. And every now and then buying a game you you want from the past when it leaves or something. Mm-hmm. But that's insane. I want to go over those numbers. That was the, These are always fun. Uh, wild. I was very excited about Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, you never... Fun. It's fun. I mean, like, yeah, you never, you never realize like how good... I mean, money is money. So it's, it's always good. You never know how good there, it's like the company is doing until you actually put pull down the numbers and you're like, Oh wow. Yeah. And I always bring up with, with any of this stuff, but especially mm-hmm. when you get to like Microsoft and Sony, where like you just get to ridiculous numbers where it just doesn't make it sense anymore. Like I can't even comprehend, uh, what is it? Uh, $15.5 billion. Like what, what, what does that even mean? That's just so Look, much. Man, that's just, really good. I can't even comprehend $1 billion. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> yeah. Let alone 15 of them. Yeah, exactly. All right. Now, 
that's all, that's all for for money numbers. All right, so we're just gonna get into some some of the, some of that gaming news that we want to talk about. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. really quickly, I don't know if you saw this, Alex. Um, mm. Epic is still in a legal battle with Apple. Um, still, and, of, yes, this is gonna last for forever. They're gonna go. They're gonna have an in person trial in May. So, so they'll actually have a trial where you know they go to and and talk with lawyers and stuff. <laughs> they did mention that uh, a reason that uh, because this they have to report certain things when they're making the uh, it's not affidavit, but essentially their their legal paperwork that they have to answer and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had to mention in in the thing why. Uh, uh, my Fortnite is not on Project X Cloud for, um, mm-hmm. I think, a competitor reason or something like that. And the reason given was that uh, they uh, Epic views Microsoft as a competitor, which which might be like, of course, you know, everyone's a competitor, uh, right? But yeah. what I thought was interesting is the reason they're not on Project X Cloud is they see the streaming service as a competitor and the and the store as a whole for Xbox as a competitor. Very interesting. I think there's something there that we'll find out in about maybe a few years. What's going on with that? Because I wouldn't be surprised if Epic starts some sort of streaming thing, or some, or maybe some, may they make Epic Game Store into a streaming service or something like that. Because that was just very interesting. Because why would you care if Fortnite's on X Cloud? Um, yeah, um, I mean, unless they, yeah, like you said, they probably create their own subscription. Because right now there's just a store, so maybe they'll add a. Uh, yeah, apparently, a subscription. apparently the only way you can stream Fortnite right now is through Nvidia GeForce uh, now, mm-hmm. and the only way that was able to happen is Nvidia agreed that they would not get a dollar off of that service. So, so Fortnite makes all of the money. In that agreement, apparently. These are things I've read on an article t- uh, this morning. But apparently, they make all the money in that. And that's the only reason they've made it on there. So, I think there's something there. I could be pull- pulling out sprawls. I just wanted to bring it up. Just so I can play this episode in three years and be like, oh my god, I was right. I can't believe my <laughs> stupid idea was anywhere near correct. But I thought it was interesting that Epic legally acknowledged Microsoft as a competitor. It's just strange. Could be f- for something else, but it was very interesting. Alex, Apex Legends, you brought it up earlier. Mm -hmm. Over uh, the week, they had some teasing and things like that. We we do know now that arenas is a thing. So Apex Legends on Monday revealed, which of course is the Battle Royale game me and Alex play, is getting a new mode. So an entirely new mode that is separate from uh, their Battle Royale. It's called Arenas. It takes some some cues from games like Valorant or Calistrate and things like that. So it's a three six with that kind of three team mentality they've had since launch. Now it's three v three in a round based mode with purchasing before every round. So out of a set of rounds, I don't remember the limit of rounds. Uh, Alex, hmm. if, if you can actually look that up, me, yeah, I got you. Thank you. I don't know um, that, but essentially, literally, a screen comes up in the round, just like Valorant. And you, you buy something with the credits you're earning through, I assumably, kills, assists, uh, doing the objective, things like this. This was announced, excited me, because, I mean, I'll always take a new mode in a game. And I do like when Battle Royales kind of get brave and start, like, trying new things. And I'm very excited to try this out whenever it comes out. I think it comes out uh, with the new season launch, which is next Tuesday, Alex? May, or is it May 11th? Let me see. Uh, so it the arenas is it's it's it, it can go up to nine rounds. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's so two. Yeah. It's it's it looks like it's definitely um, the easiest way to win. Uh, apparently, you need uh, I think it's like three rounds. How if your opponent is able to win at least two rounds, things get interesting. You have to pull ahead by two full rounds to win. Going 3-2 or 4-3 won't cut it. Instead, you'll have to go 4-2 or 5-3 to secure victory. Well, rounds will continue until one team pulls ahead by two rounds. If this continues all the way to the ninth round by going 4-4, the game kicks into sudden death mode. Whoever wins the ninth round takes home all the glory. Huh. That's so cool. interesting. So, it, so it's kind of like, um, I don't know if you played it, but it was around, I think, the holidays. There was that... There was a mode in um, 
it, you would kind of like, there was like three different teams and each, um, I think each team would have to get like three wins and whoever gets the three wins, uh, the full three wins, the win, wins the game. But the, you like, you have to drop down in, you have to like, uh, get a certain, uh, location to secure. Like one of them was the train in, um, world's edge and you have to like be in there for, uh, you have to like, take uh it's kind of like domination you have to like t- uh, take the little area and actually stay in within that time frame okay sounds i forgot like, what it was called sounds like they were almost testing this mode which is interesting maybe um i found a release date may 4th may the 4th be with you is mm. uh, when this is releasing they also announced a cinematic trailer for the season this is apex legends ninth season and they showed off their new character valkyrie Cool thing to know for Titanfall 2 fans. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the uh, the Valkyrie is the child of the main villain in Titanfall 2. It's pretty cool. And her little back is from the North Star Titan that that person used, which is pretty sick. That's cool. Uh, and they And she has, of course, three abilities, I guess you could say. Uh, mm-hmm. That comes along with it, like, just like every legend. So let's start with the first one. VTOL Jets is her passive. If you don't know what a passive is, it's just something active without you doing anything. Jump midair to activate a jetpack. Players can switch between hold and toggle mode in the control settings. Missile Swarm is her tactical. So if you hit LB or whatever your tactical button set to, this ability happens. It's called Missile Swarm. T- uh, Valkyrie shoots a swarm of mini rockets, which distracts and disorient. Disor- 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 the opponents i've seen this uh in play essentially it's uh three by three um uh circles totaling in nine circles uh going uh vertically in front of you very cool ability i i'm i'm curious if it'll be more of like a stun i assume it's gonna be more of a stun than a damage and then she has an ultimate so her ultimate is uh skyward dive Valkyrie and her teammates launch into the air and can travel oh, well. quite far with this ability. It can be used as an exit strategy under heavy fire. So it's a get it out of jail free card. It looks like I've seen it inactive. If your teammates are close to you, you hit your ult Just and all three of you shoot up into the air and you go into the animation that as if you're diving off the beginning ship. <laughs> Every t- I'm sure I'll probably use that. I'll be like scatter, <laughs> scatter. And then you just. Bing. Mm hmm. But that that was it. There's if you want more, um, we won't cover everything because I know there's you know there's people that don't want to hear anything about Apex. And we won't cover everything. There's a bunch of patch notes you can go listen to, or listen. You can go read on the Apex Legends either blog post or just Google patch notes. There's a there's a bunch of different changes. Um, uh, this is just this is gonna be much quicker. Destiny also released their patch notes for the new season uh, today. You can go uh, read on those two on uh, Bungie.net. Very cool changes, by the way. Very, very excited. They, they're switching around some perks. Very excited for you guys. Know I love my destiny, and I make Alex play when he lets me. I mean, yeah, when he lets me, me I, can play. I, I gotta, you know, I gotta give the boy attention sometimes. Right? Sometimes I get sad, and 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 it's, it's like a puppy where, where it's like mm-hmm. one brain in the corner, and he's like, it's, "Come on!" Or when or when the kid gets mad because he's not, he can't play like baseball or something. It's like, all right, all right, all right Slugger, let's go, let's go play, let's go play a game of ball. I figured out that it's called. It was called the Winter Express mode. That's what, and it's a domination style mode. That's mm. like it, it kept bothering me. I couldn't remember domination. Mm-hmm. Didn't know you. Were, didn't know you were flirting with me, Alex. Halo Infinite to support cross lane cross progression across PC and Xbox. Very cool. Yeah, here. Quote: We know many of you, and this is a. This was released today. I saw this. This was really cool. There's a bunch of different things they're doing for PC. I'm gonna read this excerpt. And then I'll give you uh, the bullet points of everything. So, quote, we know many of you play across more than just your PC, including on Xbox and mobile. That's why we're excited to announce Halo Infinite will support multiplayer crossplay and cross progression progression. Uh, when it released uh, when Halo. Sorry, <laughs> the page moved and I'm like, ah! <laughs> I found it. Halo Infinite will support multiplayer crossplay cross progression when it releases later this year. That means if you're playing on PC, you can play with your friends on Xbox One or Series X and S. It also means that your multiplayer customization and progress will follow you across all platforms. Very cool. Good. More good, things good. need to do progression. 
God, yes. don't care too much about crossplay. If I'm being honest, I care more about cross progression. Mm-hmm. More cross progression, please. Apex yes. Legends, looking at you. I mean, looking at you, Apex Legends. I mean, I mean, I mean, looking at you, Overwatch. Apex Overwatch. Legends. Overwatch. Do you understand me? My my camera like got so out of focus for a second. <laughs> my camera was caught on fire. It's wild. <laughs> Oh, uh, Alex, th- that's the biggest I wanted to talk about. There's a lot more, and I'll give you some bullet points. They're going to be supporting super ultra wide mode. Don't get too excited, gentlemen. This is we're talking about, or ladies, we're talking about a PC. Nothing else here. Super ultra wide. So the you see those monitors that are obnoxiously wide, like like it's it doesn't even forty nine inch, like forty nine inch ultra wide Samsons, like. It doesn't even look real. That 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 monitor that they it support. Looks like, it looks like, like three monitors like curved around each it other. It looks like they put duct tape and were like <laughs> and like <laughs> get, grab through monitors and just tape them all together. I'm sure that's happened before. Uh, it it's it's it doesn't even it doesn't even look real when I look at dude, it. Like it doesn't dude, it, look real. It bothers me because I feel like if, let's say I'm playing Apex and to look to my left I have to do this. <laughs> I have to look like. <laughs> I have to like do this. I want to use it because I want to say it looks like you're just using peripheral vision. I feel like you're not actually looking at dude. Stuff, I, but I feel I like I'd never just die one. because I would just suck. I always there would be like you if you test this and you and you die, don't go in the military because <laughs> because <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be shooting there and I'm gonna see something and I'm fine. So so they're supporting ultra ride and super ultra ride, triple mm. keybinds which. <laughs> over my head no idea what that is i don't um, even know how to do a key bind <laughs> i just need the one key bind. i don't need triple a wide variety of advanced graphic options and more uh this is basically i feel like this is like the return to like pc gaming almost mm-hmm. for like the, the halo community i like, mean halo one was originally on pc yeah first, I, so. and i think that's what they're trying to do here they're trying to like welcome back like hey mm-hmm. we're going we back want you, to we want OG. you to we want you to play uh, you know on pc if you're playing on pc like we want this customized so you will enjoy this game on pc um they're also using the cloud to make console gaming accessible on even more pcs while not meant to replace native pc gaming xbox cloud gaming allows xbox game pass ultimate members to play over 100 console games um i don't mind driving computers from lower specs to entry-level machines to older devices that otherwise couldn't handle the games awesome that's pretty cool that reminds me of what Switch is trying to do. Switch is trying to test uh, cloud gaming mm-hmm. where some cloud device is playing the game and it's just streaming to your Switch. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me. As I think that doesn't blow up. I think that's how they had control on Switch working. I think. Is that was even control? Oh, yeah. I don't even know. It was something. Mm-hmm. It was control. Didn't they? It was two games that I can remember. It was control. Was it NBA? Think... No, 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 no. No? I know for sure what NBA. I don't know. I know. I know. Switch was trying to do two games. I just can't remember. I know for a fact Control is one. Of them. I don't know if it's out yet, but they for sure talked about this. And if they didn't, I am full of it. The achievers already know that though. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. This is a, and then they go on to mention like, hey, you know, we've we're slowly launching the Master Chief Collection. Uh, I'm pretty sure they are done with the launches now, so I think every Halo game is now on. Hitman 3. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. That's why I have you around. Thank you so much. That's uh, that's about everything. I wanted to go through one more time just to make sure. Yeah, that's everything. Um, cool. I'm not... You, you, uh, the Achievers, no, we're not big PC people. We are novices, but I do mm-hmm. like pc every now and then i will yeah, not be playing I halo i will not be playing halo on pc i, I guarantee you that but it is <laughs> I'll cool definitely that, try it uh, my pc would catch on fire but but it would be it would be cool to, to to try it like you said i might be able to do it on low settings or something because i tried warzone and i have to have that on medium because my vram is like there's like a line and it says max and then when i go past that line it turns red i'm like nope <laughs> put it back down i don't need my thing to explode you start smelling burnt toast and you're like ooh, either i'm having a stroke or this thing's about to catch on fire Mm-hmm. Starting August first, dev share on the Microsoft Store will increase from seventy percent to eighty-eight percent. I think this is in reference to the Epic Games competitor thing because they are very sure competing with Epic Game Store on that price cut. That is a huge differential. 
They they're giving their devs eighteen percent more. Mm-hmm. Incredible. They're very much competing with Epic now for sure. They mm-hmm. did also announce a few days ago that they're revamping the Xbox Store completely on PC. They're going to try and remake the entire experience. They're going to awesome. try and make it look better. All these other I buzzwords. Know. I will, you know, I want to see it first before I start nailing mm-hmm. you guys with buzzwords. But yep, that was very cool to read. I was like, okay, I could see. Okay, all right, I see what you're doing over there, at Xbox. <laughs> you're, you're, mm-hmm. They're really filing on cylinders, and I'm very excited for when we eventually see any first party game. Very excited. Look, I look. I'm excited to see what they have coming in this upcoming like year. Alex, look me like, in the eyes like, right now. Mm-hmm. Look me mm-hmm. in the eyes right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna do one of these well, audio listeners here, and, but I have to look at this. Alex, my eyes. <laughs> audio listeners, I've put my my glasses to my nose. Gear six E three. Mm. Too soon. It's too soon for the game to launch, but maybe a little teaser, a little teaser coming in. Hmm? Mm. Little tease, mm. like like just like they they walk out and they just show a little bit of the the shoulder and they're like oh but you they're, can't see the rest yeah, of it. No, you you know what they're gonna do. You know how they 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 for I don't know why, but they had like they kept wanting Batista to be a, f- a fucking gear cog guy. I think it was they're just gonna Batista. Ha- <laughs> I don't. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Let's not to flake on Batista. Batista's awesome. I'm just saying. Like no, he's awesome. But Batista then like, they did it was, so many times. Well, he's in the game now, so now it's no. Now I it's know. Done. I'm saying I, I feel like they're gonna like find like another buff dude, and is that he's gonna and he's gonna be like Keanu Reeves oh, coming out? <laughs> Maybe. I the mean, Rock he, is a gears man now. I mean, didn't he put the armor on once? Oh no, that was Terry Crews. That was um, Crackdown Three, is what you're thinking of. Yeah, Crackdown. <laughs> well, uh, well, I I remember seeing Terry Crews wear the gears stuff armor once. Um, but they're gonna have somebody come out like Keanu Reeves, be like, and here to announce Gear <laughs> Six. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna he's just gonna walk out wearing the armor like somebody who's just gonna walk out wearing the armor and he's gonna be like hey how you doing gear six <laughs> that's all he says he just walks he's, away he's like where's he going <laughs> no he's gonna, walk up. He's, gonna, he's gonna walk up with the gun turn around start leaving he trips he's like <laughs> that wasn't script he's like oh that armor so heavy so great I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what's what's the plan, Xbox. I'm very. I mean, I feel like I've been saying games are coming for um, the we'll past 2013. So like, mm, what? We'll definitely when see... are we getting the games, Alex? As well? I think. Okay, I'm giving two two game predictions. We'll definitely eh, three. We'll definitely get Forza this year. Really. Yeah, we we haven't seen it since like uh, two years ago. That's because Playground might be busy with Fable. No, hear me out. Oh, oh. as I was saying, we go. Um, they're gonna they're gonna show off Forza. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be this year. Mm. Hellblade, Senua's two, because we haven't seen anything about that since then, right? Yeah, but I feel like they announced that way too soon. I don't think we're seeing that anytime soon. But now they're gonna show it. Oh yeah, yeah, no. There's nothing stopping these people from showing any of these games. Who no, no, cares yeah. it when it comes They're out? They're gonna show it, but I feel like that's gonna be early 2022. And then they're gonna show and then they they might might tease Fable, but they say they're gonna still work on it. They're gonna be like holiday 2022. Ooh. Or 2023. No. <laughs> like, <laughs> if they come out and say 2022, I'll be like, Microsoft, you're oh no, no, of, no. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Um, do you think? Wait, what? What was I thinking of? Starfield Bethesda is an Xbox exclusive. That, first off, it's going to be guaranteed. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's guaranteed that Starfield's exclusive. That or they're going to show off. The question uh, is: Is Elder Scrolls Six an exclusive? That's that's the question, and I think no. I think I, there's no way I, Elder Scrolls Six is exclusive. It might I be. Feel it, do you think we'll see it? Do you think we'll see it? Because we haven't yeah, seen it. Before that. See what. Elder Scrolls Six. <laughs> no, no, no. That <laughs> would be. We get another teaser to shut people up. Off, they should no. First off, they never should have shown that in the first place. Oh because yeah, no, for w- sure. It's it. It's not even a video game yet. It's probably still just a bunch of shapes doing this. It's still a bunch of shapes doing that in a in a 
<laughs> in an engine. <laughs> to be fair, I like how um wayside on the other side now. I like how they uh Neil Druckmann was like, I got the story for Last of Us Part Three outlined, but that doesn't mean the game's in the works yet. I'm like. How do you have the story already done? Well, so he has an outline, meaning he's like, you have yeah, your like bullet he, points done. and Yeah, like he knows what he, where the story is going to be about. Yeah, I believe that. I believe Neil. Yeah, which is crazy because, I mean, like, 2 just came out. And wasn't there supposed to be, like, a multiplayer coming out for this game? There is. I wish it wouldn't. I mean, I assume... The, uh, it's I, such a I, waste I, of resources. Everyone, I assume that they're not doing DLC then. I'm going to rant real quick. <laughs> Everyone... The multiplayer Everyone is like yeah, no, it's a waste. Complains about this fractions multiplayer. It's like when they when everyone says they want a Jack and Daxter game. Mm-hmm. No, you, you don't. Don't no, you don't. No, you don't want that. You don't want that. You want Naughty Dog, the best studio ever. Literally, no, no hyperbole. They're the best studio ever to exist. Make a a game about a what is that thing? A weasel and a like dog man <laughs> like no and then you want a fractions multiplayer it makes me want to break this across my head <laughs> when people go oh, why didn't we get fractions and i'm like who wants fractions i don't want you to play a multiplayer mode for a weekend and go thanks naughty dog and then never go back to it you remember you remember the multiplayer for the first game no i never played it Exactly. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. We're gonna have so many downloads on this episode. There's so many. You know, you know what? I want them to come, come at me. Come, I, you know what? Com- comment below, like it and dislike it. How about that? No, yeah, like it and comment below if you like. <laughs> you like fractions? They're gonna be like this. Oh, I love fractions. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I doubt, I doubt that man people like fractions. If you do like this video, and take a picture of your, <laughs> take a picture <laughs> of your fucking rank and put it in the comment. And I want to see your rank in what I don't even know if they have ranks, but if they do, take a picture of it. And if it's higher than ten, I'll give you one hundred dollars. Okay. Look, if this if this video gets fifty likes because of these fractions, <laughs> these fraction things, I will play it. I'll eat my words and play fractions when it comes. It is no one, no one wants. It's like a, it's like a when you're a child and you're like, can I have a fifth cookie? And you're like, no, <laughs> you're gonna get <laughs> sick. You don't want factions. You don't. You don't want Jack and Daxter. They, you know you all they want. They just want more else. Last of Us, but it's not more Last of Us. Oh, God. It just grinds my gears. I love uh, and 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 really, I'm being a dick, guys. Don't take any of the series. We're we're messing with you. But for real though, <laughs> for real though, come on, Naughty Dog doesn't need to be making a multiplayer mode. No, they're over they're over here looking at it, and they're like, dumb guy in the back is like, should we really be making this? I mean, isn't there supposed to be like an Uncharted Five coming out somewhere? <laughs> Shouldn't we just go back to that? God. Like right, like 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 sun, sun, uh, sunset overdrive. What's up? No, I'm <laughs> sunset overdrive. <laughs> Go over to Insomniac. Like, hey, what's up? Mm-hmm. Um, where? So am naughty I? dog. <laughs> naughty dog's gonna be like, <laughs> gonna go <laughs> talk to Ben. <laughs> be like, uh, no, naughty dog and Ben are not in a good relationship right now. I don't think they are in good standing. <laughs> Alex, no, no emails between those two. I want to be like they're gonna be like, hey, e- either we make this multiplayer or you just come help us make Days Gone too. We'll let go of what happened. We'll take. We won't take the whole Naughty Dog North thing to heart <laughs> when you jokingly called us a studio that we. And if you don't bought. do it, then we're gonna. It's gonna happen anyway. <laughs> Alex will, will. Alex, I can't wait when we're like veterans at podcasting, and I bring up Days Gone Two again, and you go on a fifty minute rant. Because this is gonna right now. This is so recent. Like, like it, you know, it still feels like new to talk about. Back, mm-hmm. back when it because ne- it's never gonna come out. Like Remember in that te- ramble well, about the PlayStation camera. Oh, 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 that was a good episode. That was a good episode. We just complained about a camera. Like this, this show is so fun. Oh my god, I forget what I was even talking about. Um, I don't know. Oh, I was. I've gone ten minutes without putting a time code. We're still I, talking about the same thing. No, put in like approximate the naughty dog thing. Put that. In, it better be a time code, Alex. Um, <laughs> um, PlayStation Plus games for May twenty twenty one have been announced. Battlefield Five, Stranded Deep, and Wreckfest have been 
they PlayStation Plus games uh, for May 2021. Very interesting offering. Battlefield 5, cool. Um, the tinfoil hat in me says Battlefield soon, but that's, no. They're, they're not announcing it in May. Uh, eh. No, they wouldn't do it. No, no, no. Stranded Deep. Um, I don't know this game actually. Uh, it, I've heard of it. I just it's don't a, remember. It's a survival game. Thank you. Wreckfest. The name describes itself. <laughs> if you want to wreck a bunch of cars, I believe that's the mm-hmm. PS5 game of the month as well. Is yes, it is. So very cool. Three games. Nothing that interests me. If I'm being perfect on, I'm not going to touch any of those games. But I know a lot of people like Wreckfest. Really? Yeah. Surprisingly. I've seen a lot of people play. If you knew where I worked, so you wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> uh, uh, what were you saying, Alex? I'm sorry, I cut you off. Are you good? I said I've heard. I've seen a lot of people uh, with Stranded Deep because they were like, uh, it was around that year where the remember the game, The Forest, the survival game. I do. Was really was really big. I think yeah. uh, Stranded Deep was around. This, oh. I don't know if it was around the same time. <laughs> what? Really quick, really quick. This better be a time go to Alex. Do you remember Slender Man? What was that? Why was that such a thing for so long? Yeah, I mean, is it bad? Is it feel? Is it bad that I might feel? I feel like it might still be. No, no one's making Slenderman games anymore. Slenderman, they're not making it, but the people are still playing it. I'm sure. I almost played it the other day, actually. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I don't know. Whatever that happens, like, you better call me, and I have to walk. Look, I talk you off a bridge. Like no, no. Look, we, everybody's no, look. Everybody has streamed Slenderman, and I was thinking, should I stream it? I was like, no, I I'll go back to Overwatch. I, I was thinking about doing, I because I was, I, we got, I got Alien Isolation free on Epic, and it oh. was Alien Day, and I really thought of streaming it, and I, and I just ran out of time, and I was like, ah, too late. <laughs> Name the time code. Do you remember Slenderman? <laughs> Games with Gold has been announced for May. Let, oh my god. I forgot how bad this was. <laughs> I forgot how bad this was, and I went to read it. So, Games with Gold has been announced for May. Oh God, Lego Batman 1 is available to download on May 1st. The 360 one? Yes! Why? <laughs> They're running out of games to give you. Followed by Dungeons 3 and Tropical 4 on May 16th. <laughs> Oh my god! Dungeons three and Tropical you know what, Four. For real though, Dungeons three, Tropical know, Four. Those aren't too bad. But no, you, want, you know what? It, you know what it is. You know what it is. Um, is that they, they gave us fucking everything on Game Pass Ultimate that they don't have anything to give us for free for Games of Gold. They're like, we don't know what to do. This is the movie, you sons of bitches. Movie of what? I'm looking for the release date for Slenderman. The ori- <laughs> No, it was a Slenderman uh, movie. Of course, there was. Yeah, there was. I watched it. Of course, you did. Oh it's, like, it's, it's, it's actually not bad. I feel like I like it better than the game. Uh, September twenty third is when uh, two thousand eight is when Lego Batman the video game came out, and we're getting it with Games of Gold. That makes it. Uh, I swear that game's fourteen been free years old. Before. I'm pretty sure it has. I'm I mean, it was with Epic, uh, with, the, with that Batman, with the Batman bundle. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure it has though, because I'm pretty sure I've downloaded this through games with gold before. One second, Alex, entertain the guests, please. So, as you can see uh, to my right, is this my right? Yes, it is. <laughs> You're right there, left. Well, my thing is like I I keep having to unflip or flip my camera, and so uh, I forget which one's which. This is my right. So it's, yeah, this is my right. So okay, it's okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, new additions to Game Pass, much more exciting than what we just read. Dragon Quest Builders 2. That's kind of cool. I get to play that. Um, it's going to be available to download May 4th. And Knockout City, May 21st. You, if that, was, you, that was Knockout I'm City. I'm so glad you asked, Alex. Knockout City is a very interesting game that people will play for about one to two days and then never again. Um, I will show you really quickly what it is. YouTube is taking a while to load. And that wasn't a knock, by the way. I, I don't mean that meanly. I, I, I for, It looks like one of those games where you play for a little while and you don't play it. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's like uh, one of those, like, what's drive, the, I call them drive-by games. Yeah. Oh, Alex. Oh, God. Alex, good job with that. It's a license pending. A license, I mean, yeah. Keep that down. That's 
Fantastic. Write that. I'm writing that down. I got it. Okay. Now, the Achievers already heard a little bit of it, but I'm going to actually show you the game. I want you to see it. Okay, let's do that. How do I? There we go. This is Knockout City. Oh, is this the dodgeball one? Yes, it is. This is the one I wanted to play. Okay, I am excited for this. Because I was like, because I was, we were watching the thing, and I was like, who's interested in this? <laughs> and I was like, I mean, I am. I guess you are. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll mute it just in case. I don't want them to claim this. Um, but Knockout City, it's a, like I would say, a dodgeball, like kind of battle royale game. It, when my wife watched the gameplay for this, she was like, "It looks like a dodgeball version of Mario Kart." Doesn't she doesn't know why, but she gives. She said it gives I her a lot that. of Mario Kart feel, like you know, with the balloons. No, yeah, I see that for sure. Yeah, I get a kind of Splatoonish feel, to be honest. Yeah, it's the yeah. art style, but I 100% understand what she's saying. Yeah, I do get mm-hmm. kind of a Mario Kart vibe to this it it Dude, it looks fun to me i'm like gonna hell out that guy this I'm is definitely, like, this is a kind of fun like look at that that was a cool counter it's like, i mean it's like it's like uh how fall guys were we were played we we mm-hmm. drive by it by and then, then we're, we're it's good yeah now i'm waiting for it to come on xbox and then i'll play it on xbox yep and then we'll drive by look it at that. that looks, looks kind of cool. cool they they, 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 they he, like wanted yeah, it yeah so it looks like you have like a like a kind fake of like a decent control to this oh you can fake someone out I wonder if you can. It looked like you can counter a throw. So I mean, that looks kind of like like you can counter and throw it back. Yeah. See, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you throw it, I know that part. If you throw it to a, a teammate mm-hmm. and they throw it back, it gets it's stronger. Mm. And then you throw it and it, like kills them instantly. Define. Okay, that that's enough. We got the we got the majority of the game. But I mean, how do you have a car? The fine. Interesting. And that's on. When is that? When does it say when to come in on Game Pass? May twenty first. May twenty first. Gotcha. So we gotta wait a month. Day, day and date. Another day and date game. That's kind of nuts that we keep getting these games. I take that off there, Alex. Mm. That's the news. But we have a secondary news called date update that we're gonna quickly date go update. over. We're gonna update some dates. Dates update. Date. <laughs> Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order is getting a next gen release. Oh, mm. it's going to bring a number of technical improvements this is via their EA blog. Uh, it's going to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, of course, of the game. This will be a free, <laughs> free cross generation upgrade to current owners. More details will come soon. Um, now, is, is it a whole new title? Like, so on Xbox, will I get a new achievement list? It's a great question, Alex. Now, he, they say cross generation upgrade. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no on PlayStation, however. Yes. Mm-hmm. You could do that save Play- thing. I'm- PlayStation. They might do saves, yeah. Uh, but PlayStation, though, PlayStation has no same trophy list. I feel like they're mm-hmm. all different almost. Mm-hmm. Um, dang. Yeah, I know. I wish. What's funny is the reason we're upset Xbox doesn't have it is because it's so easy to play Xbox One games on, on it. So, like, it's not mm-hmm. a separate save or anything. That, mm-hmm. I think the reason it's it isn't on PlayStation is because there's different saves for these things. Mm-hmm. So if I'm being honest, I guess I would prefer it this way, but it's still annoying. Still annoying. Excuse me, I'm sorry. And wow, and big. for everyone who's yeah, I'm a f- fucking fat pig. Uh, <laughs> for everyone who's trying to save a little money and, and is interested and have played it yet, get up to seventy percent off the standard and deluxe versions. Offered uh, April 28th through May 12th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Origin, and Steam. So if you want to try out this next generation upgrade, buy it. It's on sale. Wow, nice. 4A Games announced that Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition will arrive on PC May 6th. Next Gen Enhanced Editions for said game have also been announced. Uh, It will be a free upgrade to all owners of Metro Exodus the uh, PS5 and Xbox X versions will have the following. There will be ability to have a 4K 60 frames option. Love that. Well, the Series S will target at 1080 60 frames. All versions will use ray trace lighting and global illumination across both the base game and DLC expansions. Textures will be rendered at 4K. And loading times will be reduced. 
There will be a few platform specific issue uh, features like the spatial audio system for Xbox and the haptic support for PS5s. Maybe I'll actually Six. play it. Because I, I started, I I started Exodus on. I did too. Xbox I got One I got X, to like but... the first area, past the first area, uh, like when you leave the place or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got and you. then there's a first area, and I stopped right after beating that. Gotcha. I got, think I got to the I got to the second area, and then I was literally beating that, and I got to the third part. Beating. I don't know. Alex, that's the news for the week. Now, mm. when we end the news, we like to do a little thing called Settle Down for the Weekend. We like to relax a little bit. We've been really energized this podcast, and I love mm-hmm. it. But we want to relax so you can kind of walk into your weekend kind of enjoying yourself. Kind of loose. Everyone who's loose working on the weekends, be. we're with loose you. I do too, so don't worry. You're not alone. We have a little shared bond there. Alex. I like to end the episode just like I began it. What are you going to play? Um, so if you look to my right, it is done. Oh! And it, I am literally waiting 10 minutes, and this is what I'll be playing. Yes, you are. And if you, if you, if you check, us, check back with us either tomorrow or Saturday, we'll have a first impressions for you. Yep. As of recording, uh, this will be live Friday, so... It should be live Saturday. It should be live Saturday. 10 p.m. Eastern. But I can't guarantee because there might be issues. But we'll see. We should be okay. We should be Sometime fine. this weekend, it'll be available we wanna, for we, we want, We're trying to find a sweet spot because mm-hmm. of how this happens. It comes out at midnight. Mm-hmm. So we're, we're, we're still in the, you know, we're still baby podcast. We're still trying to figure out. We're getting the first impressions. We're getting like a few hours into it. So... I'm going to try and at least put in four hours. Alex will probably be able to do a little bit more than me, but I want to give you a beefy first impressions. Uh, I, I don't want to play like the first hour. So so we're going to try and get mm-hmm. it out to you Saturday. If you don't see it there, please give us just maybe one more day and it should be up there. Mm-hmm. Alex, that, that is kind of our weekend already planned there. I don't really have... Yes, it is anything else planned i might play some destiny with some old clan mates because i want to get um some things while they're out uh, i will finish maximize maxing my apex out to 110 oh okay so you're gonna f- fully get i'm gonna fix it out yeah i'm at 106 okay yeah i mean you have one more week of that too right because that the, the uh, four week, days four days oh that's right that's right it fixes itself in four days mm-hmm. i'm very excited to play as Val- valkyrie Mm-hmm. She looks. Are you gonna come back? Fun. Fun. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Come back! Oh yeah! Come back to me! Oh yeah! I'm gonna come back to you. Mm-hmm. Lifeline getting an update. Did you see that? Uh, I did not. Is that your main? Isn't it? Yes, it is. Lifeline is getting. This is via Emmett Watkins Jr. He's a great fa- uh, Facebook follower. The, it, she's getting. Uh, so so you know she lost her res shield, right? So there's no more res mm-hmm. shield. Okay. But she's able to res two people at once with her drone. Whoa! And. Her uh, ult, you know, the supply mm-hmm. drop I, I dropped, supply drop, yeah. is going to have a guaranteed upgrade. So whatever you have, it's going to have a guaranteed better version of something you have. And now, I, I believe it has a higher chance of dropping something really, really good. Now, that does that depend, what do you mean by upgrade? Like, a, like an accessory for the gun? I think it's an accessory for the gun. It could be a better shield. It could does be, it matter who opens it? It probably is based on lifelines. I will probably know in the. Okay. I haven't read the full full patch notes, but it's mm-hmm. probably based on life. I don't know. It might be on whoever hits. Because like, let's say I have an R ninety nine and you have a Hemi. I mean, you know, are they gonna give? Are they gonna give me a heavy mag for if I open it, or are they gonna give you a light mag if you open it? I mean, we'll find out. We'll find out. Alex, is that? I mean, that's really all we have planned for the weekend. Uh, we I finished Invincible season one today. Come closer, come closer. Tell me, tell me, okay, tell, tell me, tell me, I'll tell, tell me. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. It's good. If you, it, mm-hmm. we haven't really talked about it too much on the podcast. Now, if you have time to, oh, puppy. Oof, oof. Yeah, yeah. I have one, two, three under my legs, and then four over here. They know who they're they all sleeping is. in here. They know who they I don't. I, I don't. I don't trust them in the living room by themselves. Yeah, so it's have, probably for the best. Mm-hmm, so I have to. Yeah, they 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 behave when they're here. In- Invincible, very good. Uh, we haven't talked about it too much, but if you have Amazon Prime, first off, you have Twitch Prime. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If you have Amazon Prime, 
please go watch it. Fantastic. Alex hasn't finished it yet, but... I will finish it. I really want to play Returnal, but I'm probably either going to suck it up and watch it tonight and stay up really late or watch it in the morning. Up to you. Now, Mm -hmm. I'm very curious on what your thoughts are, so we definitely have Mm -hmm. to talk about it when you're done. Do you work tomorrow? Of course I do. I work every Mm -hmm. day of my life. Mm -hmm. Support me on Patreon so I can quit this job. But uh, no, yeah, I work, I work tomorrow. So when I'm finished, maybe we can talk about some. Maybe. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alex, mm-hmm. thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Next week, I want to talk about E3. They've been talking mm-hmm. a little more about mm-hmm. E3. Yeah, they announced some hosts and things like that. I yes, they did. Can't find myself to be excited about it. I don't know why. Maybe Still. well, maybe it's because we went a month with, or sorry, a year without it. A year. Mm-hmm. So like. I don't have you know maybe you're not feeling it you don't, you're like you don't know what you're like gonna miss so you're like mm-hmm. like I mean I don't That's know true. what I don't know what I'm expecting like every year you know we we knew what we were expecting so we were expecting some some level of hype now you don't know if there will be any hype at all That's so true. you're like eh. That's true. My expectations are very low. Now, I know for sure there's some little insider stuff that Xbox is showing something we don't know about. Mm-hmm. whether that's exciting is a different question we just know that xbox has a game in their studio that is not known that will be shown mm. again regardless if that's exciting or cool that remains to be seen mm-hmm. but i'm excited now we still don't we, we oh huh? splinter zone <laughs> how would that even work first off that would know. be sick if you if, know. if they went to use it, I mean, they very much could make that work. Microsoft has a, blank the, checks. Like, there was away. a thing that popped up. I, I should have put it on the stories, but there was something on. I said why Ubisoft isn't uh, back to Splinter Cell yet, and I meant to do it. I'm mean, like to re- read it. And I forgot. I wonder if it's an op-ed or a. I don't know. Interview. Get well, go and grab it. We can at least appoint the achievers to it if they want to read it. Um, if you want, you can throw it in the dock real quick, and I'll glance at it. But yeah, I, I'm. I don't find myself too excited for it. I, I don't know what it is. Um, if you want to, get, if if what Alex just said is intriguing to you, you can go over to. He doesn't have it yet. Um, there's something here. Let me see. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I think it's just something uh, about because it says that it was a Ubisoft Splinter Cell game that was canceled. Because uh, some uh, in a game rant uh, this year, it was in April. Uh, says Ubisoft needs to come clean about Splinter Cell. So I guess it was. Uh, let's see. So they canceled the game. Uh, I want to. I'm trying to make sure I don't want to say anything wrong. Mm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, let me just. Because I know there are other. Okay, there comment are others below that have made the claim. Comment below if you've watched Invincible. By the way, I want I want to know what you guys thought of the news the newest season. It's really I enjoyed it myself quite a bit. If you read the comics, don't post any spoilers, but just mention if you did and what you thought of the season. Again, no spoilers, please. I'll have to I'll have to delete it, so don't do it. Yeah, it's just it's, it's just talking about a bunch of mess. There's it's not important. Okay, so I was hoping it would be. Good journalism, I mean, yeah, but it hoping. doesn't seem to be anything substantial. Yeah, it's okay though. That's why me and you are here, Alex. We we threw the guck, so the achievers don't have to. Speaking of guck, we're done spewing through it. Thank you so much for joining us again. If you made it this far, you're a great achiever. Thank you so much. If you're a freeloader, don't worry. We are too. Give us a like, comment, subscribe, share with a buddy. What the weird one? The guy who doesn't stop talking about Celine Dion. Just show show us him. He probably would like us. If you got some extra cash on you, again, it's a pandemic. We understand if you don't. But if you do, you can head over to patreon.com slash easy achievers. Give us a buck. That gives you all those tiers that I said before. Also gives you the chance to DM us personally, talk about the show, give your question, your comment, your concern, your thought, and or your idea. And we read it along to the show. We love you. Remember. I got to cut the right one. You did it. It was good. Go, Chief. Go, Chief.